Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023. Let's find out what's going on on the Forex economic calendar today. The most important data overnight were uh, in form of the Reserve Bank of Australia interest rate decision and as, as you can see the interest rate was uh, kept intact at the level of 4.10%. Uh, the LBA statement was issued as well together with the building approvals and the home loans data. During the London session we got the ECB Lane um, speech, we got the CPI data from Switzerland and from Turkey, and then we have data from the USA. Jolt job openings is the key event during the New York uh, session and this data will be released at 4 o'clock. Then at 5 o'clock we got the global dairy trade price index from the New Zealand and at the end of the day half past 10 we got the API weekly crude oil stock data from the US as well. So something interesting for the uh, crude oil traders of course. Now, where shall we start? I guess that because of the bunch of the data from the uh, Australia, we should start with the Australian dollar. So let's see what is going on on the four hour chart of this Forex pair. Australian dollar versus the US dollar has made very nice run to the downside. On the four hour chart, we have seen very big bearish and golfing pattern after the uh, price went a little bit uh, 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 went higher towards the 6514 um, level so this zone here 6514 and uh, the 6000 now let me just grab this line correctly and 6525 has not been uh, violated uh, the local high was 6504 so right now uh we are of course below the technical support the technical support that was established at the level of 6334 and now this one will act as a technical uh resistance there's one more technical resistance you can see this one at 6360 so the market is trading below um 50 and 100 periods moving average very sharp reversal to the downside from the over um extremely overbought market conditions toward the extremely oversold market conditions so the local low made at the level of 6308 might be the one uh, that will start the uh pull back basically and might be the one that uh, will stop the temporary of course will stop the bearish uh, pressure nevertheless if we if we zoom out we can see straight on that this is the uh, low level in a, in a third month at least and the market is still under the bearish uh, pressure there is no indication that something else should be uh, could be done with this after the short term period of the um, consolidation it, it took at least like a one month of the consolidation between those two levels finally we have a breakout and we have a breakout level with new swing low which means the downtrend is being continued on the new zealand market now uh, this is the um australian dollar sorry australian dollar market of course australian dollar to the us dollar let's find out something about the uh, crude oil as well this is for our chart of the crude oil as you can see we got this let me just zoom in we got this very nice doji candlestick pattern uh, roughly around the swing high at 95.02 uh, all right then there's a confirmation and the extension uh, towards 91.39 then we tried to bounce and then again uh, bearish and golfing pattern and then again we went way 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 uh, lower so it looks very positive uh, for the bears not necessary for boost uh, as we are approaching the technical support let me just find the correct line there you go uh, yeah, we broke below 88.37. That used to be a technical uh, support. The new low was made at 87.76, so way below this 
uh, this level and right now of course we are bouncing uh, back up due to the extremely you know, oversold market conditions are almost were almost hit so right now uh, this level here let me just move it a little bit lower even so that extreme will be taken into account 88.19 uh, we are bouncing a little bit back up the next target for the boost is to test the uh, moving average which is 100 periods moving average uh, 89.62 and then uh, 50 periods moving average 91.06 uh, uh, nevertheless uh, we need to in order to continue the up move we need to break uh, back above the swing high because that's the definition of the uh, basically of the up uh, uptrend only new swing high would be considered uh, bullish uh, and the uptrend uh, would be considered as a uh, as ongoing and as it's still in progress okay so that's the uh, crude oil uh, let's now uh, find out what is going on mm, on the um, us dollar to the uh, swiss franc because as you can see uh, let me just uh, switch to the daily time chart it, you can see it better very nice rally from the lows at 8554 uh, right now we got at least uh, let me just take my price range tool we got at least 7.83 percent from the lows made on the 18th of the july 2023 uh, so in the three months we went 7.83 percent on a daily time chart we can see this is some sort of the bearish engulfing pattern but uh, but uh, it looks like the market still wants to go uh, go higher and, and still will be testing this level uh, sooner or later 9146 was the technical resistance now most likely will act as the technical uh, support and the next target is the previous swing high 9437 is the next target for uh, for bulls uh, if we consider some sort of the trend line we can see straight on that this trend line had been violated uh, already so that's another let's say uh, another indication of the strength of the uptrend the market is trading above 50 and 100 periods moving average on a daily time frame chart nevertheless the momentum hit the level of 85 so those levels here are extremely overbought which is why we might see some sort of the pullback soon let me just uh, find out the levels uh, for you the uh, local uh, high and the swing high was made at 8 uh, 9220 uh, four but any breakout below this pin bar low at 9090 would likely start the uh, pullback lower even uh, towards the level of uh, uh, roughly 8925 so that's my analysis for today thank you very much for um, being here i hope that i will see you guys tomorrow so for now take care and Bye-bye.